So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be chatting about the 87 rated team of the season, Andy Robertson Cad. Now before we get into things, most of you know I'm from Hull, so I did see a lot of football from Robertson prior to him joining Liverpool. He was great at Hull, and myself and most Hull City fans knew that as soon as this kid got into a better starting eleven, that he'd excel, and that is exactly what he's doing at Liverpool right now, showing the world what he can do. Anyway, before we get into this player review, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Comment below if you've tried this guy, let me know how he was for you, and also leave a comment letting me know which other Team of the Season players you want to see a video on. So let's begin by looking at his in-game stats, and we'll start off with the defending ones. We can see this guy has 88 interceptions, which is pretty damn good. He's also got a very solid stand tackle stat of 89. Robertson's got a good combination of balance and strength. He's got 85 balance and 79 strength, which is nice to see. When it comes to dribbling, he actually does have some amazing attributes. One of the ones that stands out is, of course, that 93 agility. Passing-wise, his long passing is average. The short passing's good. The crossing is great. When it comes to shooting, you know, his stats actually don't look too bad either, considering he is a left-back. So, how did this guy perform in games? As a whole, I thought he was good. I really don't have any major complaints about the card. I mean, he's not too great when it comes to aerial ability, but in this year's FIFA, not many fullbacks are. His pace, as you can imagine, I've got no complaints there. He is pretty quick in game. Obviously not the quickest of left backs. There are many quicker, but 86 pace, let's be honest, is more than enough. His long shots are found to be pretty accurate, but they seemed to just lack power for me. But, you know, there's an easy fix for that. Just don't shoot with your defenders. I thought his passing was really good, especially his crossing. It's great to have a left or right back that can whip a ball in. Robertson can certainly do that. His crossing is excellent, and his short passing game is very good too. The dribbling as a whole, brilliant. When attacking, he felt quick and agile with possession, and it was easy to get down the wing with this guy. If you like to cross and overlap your fullbacks, you're definitely going to create plenty of chances if you use this card. Defensively, once again, I've got nothing bad to say. He tackles well, whether that be with a slide tackle or a stand tackle. He reacts quickly, makes plenty of blocks, and he also makes a decent amount of interceptions. This guy does have high, high work rates, which, as most of you know, if you've watched this channel for a while, I really like players with high, high work rates. He's naturally running up and down the wing a lot which does mean he can be caught out from time to time, but in most instances, he does have the pace to get back and defend. I do want to point out, though, he does shoot out of position in the defensive line sometimes. Physically, his jumping isn't great. We've already mentioned that a bit. He rarely attempts to jump for the ball, which is a bit annoying, so, you know, that's a minor negative. Um, the stamina, though, fantastic, and the strength for a fullback is actually decent. He battles well against most wingers. So... With all that in mind, let's head into the summary. I've got to say, it's a pretty good left-back card. And with all that said, is he worth the coins? Well, let's be honest, 150k for a fullback is a lot. But, to be honest, in FIFA 18, there aren't too many elite left-back options in the game. And just quickly, before we end and wrap up this video, who are your favourite left-backs in this year's Ultimate Team? Mine, personally... Uh, prior to team of the season, are non-informed Jordan Lukaku and team of the year Marcelo. So in the comments, let me know which left backs you enjoy using. But um, team season Robertson, very good card and I probably will be using him again. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on team of the season Andy Robertson. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. Comment below if you've tried this guy, let me know how you got on with him. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.